Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for clicking on here. If you're new here, my name is Karina and I do fashion and styling videos as well as some hauls and I also do weekly vlogs. So if you're into any of that, please consider subscribing. Today's video is my new closet tour. So we're gonna talk all about my closet, what we use to build my entire closet as well as how I organized it. So if you're interested to see my new closet, then just keep on watching. If y'all been following along, you know that the closet was built in the garage so this is my little door so this little mat is $13 from Target if y'all are interested but and we do have a pocket door because I just thought that would be the easiest thing to do so before we get into the nitty-gritty of the closet I do want to mention that we put in this what I think is called a mini split I could be wrong but um, we have this in here and in the garage so that way it can keep this room cool so in the winter time it can stay warm in here let's do a full view of it this is what it looks like it's got shelves and here i am again um, <laughs> this is a kids dresser so this was actually in our boys room it's pretty small so like i'm i'm a 4 11 and a half and so this hits me right here and it is very narrow it's not thick at all it's smaller than average for a dresser because it is a kid's dresser. And they had these, these big white knobs on there, so we went with these knobs. These drawers have a lot of like miscellaneous stuff. So these are like wallets and smaller items that I would put in my purse. This is my t-shirt drawer, which is very nice because I do grab for these t-shirts a lot. This is just kind of a miscellaneous drawer. I have a lot of these shirts from our friend Listel. These are duplicates because it's kind of like extras and then like boxes and things like that. This is all my caps and I have a bucket hat here. My blue light glasses. Some belts back there. Oh, this is scarves. Sunglasses in here. And I actually just threw this. This is my little electronic box. So I may move it out of here. I can't obviously open these but they um this is where my sunglasses are for now and then this is like stockings and these like cute little socks and this is shapewear and slips so that's that drawer this mirror is from home goods this is all glass I absolutely love it it's like perfect for this room because I wanted to add accents of black and gold this little tray oh gosh this little tray is from Ross. It's like 12 bucks. It is um, where I put all my perfumes for display. I did get that little trash can at Ross the other day. It was like six bucks. It has these little ridges, so it looks kind of fancy, but it's plastic and it was super cheap. The goal was to find some books to stack and give this a little height on this side. So I found this at Ross the other day. It only has one flower. I think it was supposed to have two. But I'm okay with the one flower. I like the little bit of pop of color. I was going for white, but then I saw this one. I was like, I like the color. I think it would look nice in there. This is also from Ross. I wasn't in love with it, but the more I look at it, I think I do like it. And it's actually a box. So um, I think it has those little things that are in the bag that busted in there, I guess. But it's nice because I can use it for storage as well. What I got going on here. Okay, now this little space was pretty small on either side. I don't have a ton of space. I need to have some type of rack near my closet where I put stuff that is new because that helps me like see it um, so I can wear it or I can style it for a video and things like that. So right now it looks awfully messy. So I found this very small rack from Amazon. It was I think around $40 and it was white. My husband just spray painted it gold. I can see my new items. I have this new little hat from Forever 21. So I just kind of threw that on here as well. And the only thing that I'm unsure about is if I want to add something up top. At first I was thinking about adding, I don't know if you've seen on TikTok that you can add these wall sconces in your like anywhere and you can just add a light inside and it's remote control. So you don't actually have to like plug it into the wall or anything. So I thought about that, but then I thought maybe we'll add a, um, a ledge shelf here or like a floating shelf that's up here and I can use it to display purses and shoes and things like that. Another like storage area. So I haven't decided, so right now it just looks very plain or maybe wallpaper, I don't know. Um, I got these Uva stems from Crate and Barrel. 
I absolutely love these. This is a set of three for like 15 bucks. I, I caught them on sale, so it's perfect. And then I got this really tall clear vase from Marshalls slash Home Goods. Of course, it still has a price tag on it. It was like 16 or 17 bucks. I thought about spray painting it, but I kind of like it clear because I have my little clear chair here that I've had forever, also from Marshalls. My rug is from Ruggables. And I absolutely love this. I've actually seen this in the past and thought to myself, that is such a cool rug, but I have no place to put it in my home currently when I saw it. And when I started to redo this closet, I was looking for a black and white checkered is what I wanted to get. And the rug I was looking for didn't have the dimensions I needed to fit the space. So Ruggable did. Thankfully, my mom came just in time. She gifted it to me for mother's day slash my birthday because my birthday's in june and so she's like I will, i'll buy it for you and i'm like okay so i already had this little stool in my other filming area which was the bathroom and that green and this green match perfect it has storage so i have my water shoes in there and then we'll move on to the pieces of the closet this i had in my previous closet we took it out and brought it in here because after we put the big pieces in i needed more storage sadly to say so in here i have clutches small bags and fanny packs and um yeah so i'll just open each drawer so you can see fanny packs um more small bags there's not really organization there and these are all like evening bags and clutches as well bags here here and here i added my larger pieces that i didn't want to put in my jewelry drawer which i'm going to show you um so bigger pieces and longer pieces are hanging on this little fabric display and I specifically wanted to use my fabric one because I have acrylic one. The fabric helps absorb any moisture so if you have costume jewelry it's going to absorb the moisture and it's going to keep your jewelry looking better for longer. So I wanted to make sure that I used a fabric stand and then I've got an acrylic stand that has my bigger like uh, statement earrings and then I've, I had three little stands so I just put like big earrings on display here. I like the look of it because it essentially displays my jewelry like a little boutique. Now we can talk about the pieces that make up the closet itself. The system is of course the IKEA pack system. I have two 39 inch wardrobes in length. The depth is 22 so that's why this one sticks out more than this one because this is 14 inches in depth. This is 22, so that's why it sticks out much more. This one has just hanging space. This one we did a hanging rod over here, and then I did five drawers here. I also was able to incorporate a small, thin pull-out jewelry drawer. Okay, and then I chose to get these little jewelry holders from Shein. That's the cheapest I found online. You could buy the inserts that Ikea has. The inserts would run about $100, and I'm like, mm, maybe I can find something cheaper, an alternative. Shein had all of these different ones that you can choose whatever you want to fit in your drawer, and I ended up getting all of these, and it was still under $50, and so I was very happy with that. These are all my necklaces right here, and again, the big pieces that I didn't want to fit in here or they're too long, I used over there. This fits all of my jewelry. It's perfect. I've got like earrings and rings over here. I've got studs and some rings over here. My favorite earrings that I wear the most are here. Most than the ones that I'm currently wearing go there. My very large rings are there. My bracelets that I'm currently wearing would go there. I've got this really long Laronet necklace where I actually didn't have another tray like this for this area. So I just used a uh, Yves Saint Laurent box that I had that has this little felt inside to use for my like for my big statement like fancy earrings I just put that there and so that's my little jewelry these are all my jeans okay these are my shorts and tanks and then under shorts so these little shorts I like to wear under dresses so I don't feel like I'm gonna be exposed denim biker Shorts that are like a different material, not denim, that I don't want to fold up. So I just keep them there. And then tanks. This drawer is all my bathing suits. <laughs> I did all my one pieces right here. These are all cover-ups. And then these I tried to organize but didn't do a very good job. So these are like my two pieces. This is all my workout stuff. 
and all my leggings. Oh gosh. This very last one is corsets, uh, strapless, uh, and shirts that are kind of hard to hang. Little like bralette shirts and things like that are here. This is all like my tops essentially, blazers and tops. And I organized by color and then in the color by style. This bottom part are my short dresses and I've got some pants and skirts over here. And then on here, we decided to add a door to this section, which is my dresses. But it is because it is very messy as far as like the organization. So it looks like a lot of, it looks like a lot going on in here is because um, the space is small and I want it to conserve space by adding these little hooks. So also bought from Shein, these little hooks, I think it was like 24 of these for like $2.50. This really has saved space. I used to do this um, in my other closet, but I used the like Coke, like the canned little bottle cap that has two little holes. So, and that's why it looks kind of messy, but I also have my trench coats here and some trousers that I don't want to fold. And then on the bottom to add to the craziness, we have this pullout door that right now kind of has my sandals all thrown in here, but it is essentially holding all of my sandals right now. I have a few that I wear literally almost every day that I keep in my shoe closet, which I will show you right now. But this was very convenient because the drawer is very deep and it's nice that you can pull it out. And then, of course, because it's kind of messy, just close the door and not have to look Up at it. Up top are these storage bins from, also from Ikea. These, however, measure to my other closet, 39, 29, and 19. And so I haven't gotten new ones and I don't think I want to. Alfredo was like, my husband was like, we should get another big one here and then a smaller one just to go there. But I, I don't need to. These work just fine. I have all my winter sweaters and sweatshirts up there. And then winter accessories in that little one. And then on the very top, which I don't know if y'all can see. But on the very top, we have all of my summer hats. So these are kind of displayed in a way that I can see what I have up there. And then these over here. Let me get on the stool and show y'all. These are my winter hats and they are stacked on top of each other because obviously I don't need to see them because I'm not going to grab for them. But there's room. It's deep enough to have two stacks. So I'll flip this around when it's winter time. We're moving on to my shoes which are in these Ikea Billy shelves with doors. We changed the hardware on here so we have these gold handles that have a little like ridge right here so just kind of changed it a little bit I didn't mention but I went with the shorter shelves um, for both of these we went with the 79 inch tall these Billy shelves are also 79 inches but they do make them in 90 they've just gone all the way to the top so I would have no space up top on either end so we went with the 79 and we have extra storage now and the way I organized my shoes is by color and I've seen a lot of people do this in their closet so I was inspired to do the same which is putting in your bags with your shoes so what I did is as I went through the colors I just added bags that I thought would look aesthetically pleasing as well as obviously bags that matched that color schemes I did end up doing boots at the very bottom but I don't like the way that looks but those are pool noodles that I have in the boots when we were doing this, I said, I think what I'm going to do, and I may still do it, but I haven't done it, is take the boots out and put them back where I had them stored and just have sandals here because it's summertime. I really want to have access to them and have them displayed so I know what I have. And that's really the whole purpose of this closet, right, is to have everything displayed so I can see what I have, so I can wear it, so I can style it. I did put larger bags up here. I do have a few bags um, in these that I just kind of stored in there, but they're more like beach bags and totes that are foldable. I did my few large colorful bags here, and then I was not crazy about the way these looked over there, so I just moved those here. And honestly, I really don't wear those anymore as much as I wear my other bag. This one also has a bag in there. So as you can see here, I do have these sandals because these are the ones that I wear the most. 
these little Shein ones. I literally wear these with almost every outfit. Probably cost me $14 and I've had them for a few years now. Love those. I also added some sneakers to these shows because these are the sneakers that I wear the most too. So I do still have some sneakers and boots in my other closet that I had um, that I didn't, that I don't pull for as much. That is the shoe wall. Hey, that's and it. That's the little tour of my closet and uh, how we built it, how we organized it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I have done a previous video on my other closet that I also did the IKEA pack system in. So if you're interested in watching that, I'll leave that link down below as well. Hey, and that is it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.